Right, chaps. Welcome to Pirating 101. Take a seat and pay attention. This training item is endorsed by the Black Rabbits and the Garistas Associates. It's designed to equip you with an overview of the basic strategic and tactical considerations and challenges which are unique to pirating within EVE. We'll be looking at three important areas today. Logistics, sentry guns, and global criminal flagging. But first a word on being flashy red. As a pirate, you will end up with negative security status. In fact, if after embarking on your pirating career you find that this is not the case, chances are you suck at pirating. Might as well hang up your eye patch and jump back in your minor. But for those of you more dedicated to the pirating cause, the descent into a criminal life can be a swift one. Break a few eggs along the way and your security status will drop faster than you might expect. Sooner rather than later, Concord will take a serious interest in curtailing your activities. When your sex status drops below minus five, you'll suddenly find great swathes of the EVE universe denied to you. Specifically, you will have no access to high security space. Actually, that's not quite true. You can still make use of shuttles and other small, fast ships like interceptors to traverse through high security space before the police can catch you. But be aware that docking and undocking can still be a risky business. Also, any of you stupid enough to engage your autopilot while traversing HiSec will only do so once. But why can't I go through HiSec, you may ask? Well, I'm afraid the majority of our friendly faction police are ruthlessly efficient. Once their roadblock has assembled, imagine an insta-web, insta-scram and a slow death, and you have some idea of their single-mindedness. However, once they've destroyed your ship, they and all other NPCs will ignore you. So, another option you have is to travel through HiSec in your pod. However, since you are a bright, flashing red on everyone's overview, anyone fast enough to take advantage of that can ruin your day very quickly. So, do pay attention. This semi-confinement to low sec, familiar to every pirate, demands a cunning and a very different mindset to most other capsuleers. With that in mind, it's now time to talk about the importance of support and logistics. Now. Just because you're confined to low-sec space doesn't mean you can't get around, as we've discussed. Also, any successful pirate corporation will have a strong logistical backbone. Most will operate with a wing of high-sec capable freighter pilots on the payroll, and also carrier pilots will be on standby to jump ships around in low-sec. A truly capable pirate organization can arrive in a region, wreak havoc and disappear with ruthless efficiency. On a day-to-day -day basis, this logistical backbone can make reshipping and resupplying a relatively simple matter. As a combat pilot, you need to make yourself aware of the corp's logistical capabilities and make sure you keep your corpmates well informed of your needs. Having said all this, as any true pirate knows, self-sufficiency is king. In the absence of core logistics, or to complement it, make an effort and invest in your future success as a pirate. Train up a hauler alt to move battlecruisers and smaller sized ships for you, and to carry out your resupply. You can do this on your main account, it'll only cost you one of your three character slots, or, if you're feeling flush, set up a second account to carry out your own logistics and support. This also brings added advantages of multi-clienting during operations, but that'll be covered in another part of your training. Of course, you can also place contracts or buy orders in your local area to acquire the stuff you need, but be prepared to pay a little bit extra if you want to buy stuff in low-sec, such as the price you pay for your pirating lifestyle. Now, let's talk briefly about sentry guns. Low-sec gates do not go unprotected. A thorn in every pirate's side are the sentry guns and a Concord billboard, present at every gate. Sentry guns and the billboard will open fire on anyone in their range who has a global criminal flag. More on global flags in a moment. Now, unfortunately for us pirates, sentry guns employ state-of-the-art technology. As such, they are invulnerable to attack, they have a dangerous 150 km range, their tracking is superb, and they deal a considerable punch across all damage types. Anything smaller than a battlecruiser-class ship will struggle under sustained fire, so if you're planning on gate pirating in a frigate, well, you better have a good supply of them. Well-tanked battlecruisers, hacks, battleships and command ships can do a pretty good job of tanking sentry fire. Some are quite capable enough to perma-tank sentries. Also, because each sentry gun can only fire at one ship at a time, and because they cycle slowly through all globally flagged targets within their range, a well-tanked, small gang 
can make a very effective job of permatanking at a gate. A battleship gang can pretty much just ignore them. However, individual pirates should always be aware of the damage sentries can deal and take that into account whenever engaging on a gate. When flying in a gang, be aware of which pilots do and don't have sentry aggression. If only one person has aggression, he or she will be getting pounded. It's usually a good idea, unless there is some other overriding tactical necessity, for all gang members to share sentry aggression. This can be accomplished easily by firing on a sentry gun. We haven't really talked about the Concorde billboard, and to be honest its firepower is barely worth commenting on. However, unlike the sentry guns, the billboard can be destroyed, which can bring some small satisfaction and a relief from boredom on a slow gate. Now, let's discuss the issue of global criminal flagging, which we mentioned earlier. You acquire a global criminal flag by initiating hostilities against someone with a security status greater than minus five. These flags last for 15 minutes. During those 15 minutes, every sentry gun in the game will start shooting at you. That includes gate guns and station guns. Now, since we've already established that they do a fair bit of damage, you need to make sure you are expecting it, and that you understand that their aggression will persist for 15 minutes, even if you warp away to safety. In fact, the way the timer works is even trickier than that, so pay attention here. The timer initiates at the moment you open fire on a non-criminal, non-war target pilot. If you do this away from a station or a gate, you can wait out the timer in relative safety if you so choose. However, the timer will constantly reset while you are actively under fire from sentries and will reset any time you approach a sentry defended location during your cooldown. You need to constantly make sure you're aware of your timer. If you've got a timer, warping to a gate is generally a bad idea in a frigate or a cruiser. The guns will likely make short work of you. Undocking from a station in a frigate or a cruiser is also a bad idea. Know your ship and know when you've got a timer and you'll be fine. Lose your concentration and do something stupid, and you'll probably lose your ship too. Another word on hostility timers, especially in relation to docking and undocking. And by the way, this is something that can catch you out quite badly if you're not paying attention. While the global timer is the most important, you also need to keep track of corporation-specific timers. Every time a sentry gun belonging to a corporation shoots you, you acquire a hostility timer to that corporation in addition to your global timer. For example, you've got one minute left on your global timer, so you decide to dock at a station with a view to waiting out your remaining global flag time. But you will, by docking as a criminal, acquire a separate 15 minute timer with the station owner. Your one minute timer is up. Great, you think. You undock in your frigate, eager to get back to pirating, but forgetting that the corporate timer still has 14 minutes to go. Bye bye frigate. Bottom line people, know your timers. Concentrate. It might seem simple, but you'll probably lose a ship to this eventually. Well, that about wraps up this training item. As a new pirate to Eve, fly safe, but not too safe. Oh, and remember, Care Bears aren't people. They're giant flying pinatas. <laughs>